MOD. What is this? This is the hypertension mediated organ damage. And we will also see about uh, hypertensive emergency and special circumstances which are associated with the hypertensive emergency and what is the BP target in this hypertensive emergency. Uh, before going into Hachamudi, first we will see what is the definition of uh, blood pressure as per the 2020 ACC guidelines. They have mentioned normal blood pressure as systolic blood pressure of less than 130 and the diastolic blood pressure of less than 85. And the grade 1 hypertension is 140 to 159 and grade 2 is more than 160 and diastolic blood pressure of more than 100. Suppose if it is taken uh, based on the ambulatory blood pressure monitoring, the 24 hour average blood pressure of more than 130 over 80, it comes under the definition of hypertension. That is the daytime blood pressure of more than 135 over 85 or the nighttime blood average blood pressure of more than 180 over 70. This comes under the definition of hypertension. Home blood pressure monitoring, these parameters are nothing but the daytime average of the ambulatory blood pressure monitoring. The criteria are almost the same, more than 135 over 85. Now, uh, HMOD, what is this? This is the structural or functional alteration of the arterial vasculature or the organ that it supplies because of the elevated blood pressure. So it is defined as the structural or functional alteration of the arterial vasculature or the organ it supplies because of the elevator in the BP. So what are the organs involved? One, uh, first is the brain, eyes, heart, kidney, and the major blood vessel, central or peripheral both. Coming to the heart, heart can be damaged in the form of TIA or stroke, eyes, papilledema, which can be detected using the fundus examination. In the heart, there might be presence of left ventricular hypertrophy, which can be better detected with the 2D echo or ECG. ECG, the commonly used criteria for LVH is the Soclo Loin criteria, where uh, Yes, V1 plus or V5 more than 35 fits into the criteria of LVH. Or in 2D echo, there is one parameter which was mentioned here is the left ventricular mass index. Suppose in a male patient, if it is more than 115 gram per meter square, or in a female patient, if it is more than 95 gram per meter square, this comes under the criteria of LVH. Next is the kidney. Involvement can be found out by serum creatinine, EGFR, or the urine albumin excretion. The large artery involvement can be found out by carotid ultrasound to look for atherosclerosis or, uh, or presence of uh, intimal medial thickness assessment. And second is the simple index, it's the ankle, ankle brachial pressure index. The other one which is described is the iota to iota by carotid, iota by carotid femoral pulse wave velocity. This can be used to assess this organ assessment. So these are all the organs which is involved in uh, Hachamori. Next is hypertensive emergency. What is this one? This is nothing but HMOD. Presence of uh, elevated, substantially elevated blood pressure. Substantially elevated blood pressure with the acute HMODs. We will see one by one what are the acute HMOD and the special circumstances which are associated with it. The first special circumstances is the hypertensive encephalopathy which is nothing but the presence of lethargy seizure or coma or cortical blindness in the absence of other explanation factor the second is malignant hypertension it is the commonly the bp is elevated more than 200 over 120 along with the presence of uh, retinal changes that is the presence of uh, hemorrhages cotton wool spots or presence of papal edema and it have to be usually bilateral retinal changes this is the malignant hypertension third one is special uh, is the presence of acute coronary syndrome or acute cardiogenic pulmonary edema
fourth is the renal involvement acute renal failure or the presence of thrombotic microangiopathy this is nothing but uh, thrombocytopenia in presence of hemolysis in the absence of any other explanation the final one is the major artery involvement in the form of acute aortic dissection or aortic aneurysm and the final one is the eclampsia these are the hypertensive emergency and the special situations now coming to the BP target which is targeted in this hypertensive emergency to simplify in hypertensive encephalopathy and in uh, thrombotic microangiopathy the blood pressure have to be reduced by 20 percentage over a period of several hours and even in malignant hypertension to remember all three having a target of reduction of blood pressure by 20 percent over several hours Whereas in cardiac involvement, in acute coronary syndrome or acute cardiogenic pulmonary edema, the target have to be less than 140. It will be better if it is uh, if the target BP is achieved in a shorter duration of time. And the other situation is this acute aortic dissection. The blood pressure target is less than 120. Whereas in eclampsia, the blood pressure target is well less than 160. So, and the one more point to note here is in the brain, other two special circumstances of hypertensive emergency is acute ischemic stroke and acute hemorrhagic stroke. These are the two conditions where the BP target can be targeted to less than 180. So, we have seen about the acute emergency condition in the brain that is encephalopathy, acute hemorrhagic stroke and acute ischemic stroke in the eye that is the malignant hypertension caught in the form of acute coronary syndrome or acute cardiogenic pulmonary edema, kidney, thrombotic microangiopathy. The last one is the aortic uh, aneurysm or aortic dissection and the special circumstance in the pregnancy. These are all the hypertensive emergencies which are commonly seen in the clinical practice. And uh, this is the tabular column which is showing whatever I have discussed so far. And uh, for majority of the condition, whatever I discussed, the first line drug of choice remains levitalol here also levitalol levitalol acute skin and stroke levitalol and second uh, levitalol or nicotinepine in acute coronary sy syndromes nitroglycerin or levitalol can be preferred in eclampsia levitalol or nicotinepine or magnesium sulfate is preferred so this uh, this column is about the bp target in malignant hypertension and acute renal failure it is uh, mean arterial protection and reduction of 20 percentage in hypertensive encephalopathy Again, mean arterial reduction of 20% in acute ischemic stroke and the stroke with indication for thrombolytic therapy. One hour target can be reduction of mean arterial pressure by 15%. In acute hemorrhagic stroke, target can be kept around target can be around 180. So the cardiac related hypertensive emergency, acute coronary syndrome and acute cardiogenic pulmonary edema, systolic blood pressure target less than 140. Acute aortic dissection or aneurysm, systolic blood pressure 120 and heart rate to be less than 60. Eclampsia less than 160. So this is about hypertensive emergency and the Hachimodi. Thank you.